we told you earlier how NVIDIA shares dropped as it suspended self-driving car tests. Now one of Uber's rivals is pressing ahead with new driverless technology. Waymo is Alphabet's autonomous car division. Waymo plans to turn the Jaguar I-Pace into a self-driving luxury taxi. Testing is due to begin this year. Waymo in CEO insists it will go ahead even after an Uber self-driving car struck and killed a pedestrian. Well, that was a tragic um, accident, and um, you know, it's 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 sort of when you think about it, one of the reasons that that we're here and why we've been working on this technology for so long. We've been at it um, for more than nine years. We started as the Google self-driving car project. Um, we've now driven over five million miles in autonomous road, in autonomous mode on public roads, um, and we've tested our software and our sensing um, through lots of different scenario testing and our proving ground. We have over twenty thousand challenging tests that we put our cars and our technology through and we validate all that through the virtual world five billion miles of simulation where we test the cars in a really challenging environment just to make sure everything is safe our confidence springs from the fact that we've been working on this for so long and we've been focused throughout this mission on ensuring the safety of the cars and the technology well, arguably uber would say the same thing uh, Waymo's testing its services in Arizona. Claire Sebastian is here. Remind us what happened with the in the Uber case. Well, so 18th of March, there was the first, uh, what we know to be the first uh, fatal accident involving a pedestrian with one of Uber's cars. Uh, and last night, the governor of Arizona sent a letter to Uber's CEO, which he shared with the media, where he said, basically, you know, you can't do it anymore. Just Uber, that is, not Waymo, not, not GM, not any of the other ones. He said, you can't test your autonomous cars on the roads of Arizona anymore. What have they discovered about Uber that leads them to that conclusion, other than the fact that something did happen that went wrong? I mean, you know, is this a case, is this believed to be a case that Uber's done something wrong, or is it all of them? Well, again, it's just it's just Uber that, that Arizona is specifically targeting. Uber's response was, look, we proactively pulled all of our autonomous cars out of all the cities where we've been testing them. That's four cities uh, in North America. But I actually, I wanted to find out that the answer to that question myself, so I went back uh, to the governor of Arizona's office and I said, well, what precipitated this? You know, it's, it's a week or so more, more than that now since the crash happened. Uh, the letter seems to suggest that it was the police video that was dash cam video showing that the, the moment when this happened. Uh, but they simply said, you know, the governor has been consistent in his view that public safety should be a top priority. And he, you know, the accident raises questions about a, uh, Uber's ability con to continue testing. In the letter, he calls it an unquestionable, an unquestionable failure by Uber to comply with the with his expectation that public safety should be at the forefront of this. But this is a huge turnaround. Right, Uber. so now Uber has been uh, banned in this way, mm -hmm. or at least suspended. Other companies have done what? Well, so they, as you saw with the CEO yes. of Waymo, very dramatically distancing himself from this playing on the idea that they have more experience, they've got more testing. Uh, that's the same thing we've uh, heard from a company called Mobile Eye, which is owned by Intel. They also do a driverless car technology. They came out in a blog post and said, look, uh, you know, these, the, the new players in this, you need to watch them. We are the experienced players. So, look, this is, this is an industry in transition, you know. In, in but it's going to happen. Autonomous vehicles, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm full of sympathy in the sense of the dreadfulness of what took place. But we are at the beginning of a nascent revolution mm -hmm. in transportation. I'm sure when people started flying, there were these sort of incidents, but it didn't stop us moving forward to build aeroplanes, rockets, and go to the moon. No, but it's still very important how the companies handle it as we go, and particularly a company like Uber, which is under so much scrutiny for the way it's handled, you know, scandals in the past. I think that uh, is the key here. But, but Claire, is there any suggestion at the moment that Uber has done something wrong or done something different, other than the natural vicissitudes of this testing that means something failed? We don't know. The NTSB, which is the body that investigates air crashes, is investigating this. So is the National Highway, Highway Transportation Authority. So is the police uh, in Tempe, Arizona. That The results of those investigations are what everyone is waiting for, including the governor of Arizona, who went to reinstate testing. Good one. Thank you.